Like from the perspective you prayed to God, or was there never a time you were into prayer in these things? Not really. Now, okay. Moses and his people were in the Exodus. You know, like, told by God, we, uh, this is now your promised land. You know, I got, Moses like most people, because religion is spread through families. That's like that's the predominant so they had the same sort of vehicle so that in which that religious died. doctrines so are so that Moses sort of spread through you childhood you and then through... That's reinforced through family links and community links and society links. Isn't that true of any belief that is spread through family, whether it's atheism or Islam or Christianity? No, my, my family, my, you know, I come from an African family, heavily religious, unfortunately. Uh, Christianized, you know, a couple of members of uh, Islam as well. And then. No, so uh, these are the effects of colonialism, imperialism. Um, these are the effects of. Uh, but I'm sure. Sort of, I'm sure religion existed with amongst the African people before absolutely. colonization and imperialism. Abs absolutely. Like Christianity in Ethiopia has been there. No, 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 well, no, well no I'm not even talking about Christianity. I mean, Christianity is a relatively new religion. It's not. You know, it's not. Yeah. It's not that old, actually. To be fair, it's been around for. You know, arguably in its in its present form for a, a, about sort of fifteen hundred years. Really. It's not a it's not a, a you know in 1,800 years. You know, um, Islam even less. You know, so these are not new phenomena. Um, you know, Africans. Uh, you know, uh, sub-Saharan Africans, um, West Africans have had their own traditions, had their own spiritual beliefs, beliefs and religions and you know so uh, these got subsumed as I say with you know colonialism and invasion um, well the thing about and, colonization um, is that you could argue imperialism yeah but the same applies for atheism because what atheists did is that when they had power they forcibly converted people to disbelief uh, the communists did this in China the Soviets did this the communists in Europe did this, and you know, you, before we spoke, I think before we got into this topic, you spoke about uh, bloodshed. You spoke about uh, tox, the toxic effects of religion. Well, atheism's no better because more people have died under atheist rule than have died in all of the religious wars. It's impossible. So I'll give you a stat: a uh, hundred million people at least yeah. died under communist regimes in the last hundred years, and a hundred million people have not died in religious wars throughout human history. Yes, they have. More, actually. How? Far more. How? How? Well, you've got to take, well, you've got to take the First and Second World War, started by, you know, Christians and religious um, advocates. Are you saying they were, they were religious wars? Well, they, they, they weren't religious wars per se, but they were committed and instigated by religious people. Not, you, you, not, yes, not, yeah, yeah, yeah. Not really? Yes, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. Hitler yeah. was not a Christian. Abs absolutely. He was a Christian. He was a kind of warped, sort of, um, uh, kind of sectarian, um, Protestant mishmash of occultism and Christianity. But he was def definitely a Christian. He was definitely believed in God. He was. He wasn't. He wasn't an atheist or some sort of pantheist. He was a. He was a. It well, was a God believer. Uh, so so let, let's look at the instigators. In, let's in carry the on with the numbers because your numbers are, 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 I mean, from my perspective, completely spurious. So we've got religious countries starting the First and Second World War, mass killing, mass murder on a grand scale. Then you've got, uh, you know, prior to that, mass colonialism, millions, but that tens. So hold on, millions across across Africa, across Asia exploited and uh, you know um, used by you know religious uh, instigators so, so you've gone to colonization but let's stick to the first and second world war yes you're saying this these were religious wars no I'm not saying that I'm saying that they are, were instigated by countries that um, subscribe to a belief in a deity and a god okay and, so and they claim that and on on different levels, they, they would claim that they had a mandate from their God to do what they did. That's not the history of the right. first two world, world wars. No, no, no. That had nothing to do with uh, it. Uh, well, you have to look at the you have to look at the people and the institutions that instigated these wars and the foundations on which they. Uh, they were territorial uh, do, wars. Do, do, 
derive their power. No, they were territorial wars. Of, they were of, not. They of, were, of course, they, they, were they were not were. wars because of, of religion. Of, co of course, they were. No, 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 no. But uh, they, they were religious, God-believing um, advocates. That's that's that was the foundation of no, their. Not really. Yes, I they mean, are. okay, but look, yes, look, look, let's go back to the start that I started off with, yes. and let's just stick on say one person. And we'll, uh, but, but, uh, and we'll, ch hold, ch hold, Chairman hold Mao killed hold on, hold on, hold on, 80 million people. The, well, first, well, first and second world war, 80 million people did not die. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Well, we'll come back to that because I want to know where you got the statistics from. Actually, we'll, we'll, these we'll, are well established. No, 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 no. no. We'll, we'll, we'll come back to that. I'm not so going to let you decide. The, the Cultural Revolution, no, the Great well, Leap Forward, well, well, okay. the, the conservative okay, okay. estimates are going okay. to tens of millions. No, 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 this is well known. No, no. Uh, if you're talking about the Cultural Revolution during the 60s, that well, from the late 50s that ran out onto sort of the mid 70s, you know, a lot of people died. How many do you think? Around, you know, around sort of 10 to 20 million. Okay, right? let, okay. Right? So, I, I think it's so, more than that, but let's stick to 10 to 20 million. 10 to 20 million. And he was an atheist, right? Chairman Mao? He was an atheist, yeah. Yeah, he, so, he so your initial point that religions are the cause of violence. No, no, you no. Can, you can see no, here no, that no. an atheist is no, killing no, that was, that, millions of his no, own no, people. No, 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 that, that wasn't, that, they're, they're not just the cause of violence. That, my, my, my contention to you was that they are... They promote um, a lack of critical thinking, non-thinking, um, a lack of um, uh, scepticism, and uh, uh, this kind of um, uh, mass credulity, basically. Okay, so, okay, so let me ask you a so, question. Why didn't the atheists come up with the scientific method, if that's the case? Why was it that the sci science was advanced by theists until recently? Well, science is science is a is, is a methodology. Mm -hmm. It's not. It's you know the people. Most of the people. Well, if you're talking about Europeans, um, the early Europeans in the in the early part of the um, what they would call the scientific enlightenment were religious. Yeah, I mean you know I think they were they were, they were religious in a. In a cultural sense, but that's, that's not the genesis of science. No, no, no it's, it's it's not the genesis. That's of science. late. Gen that's late. No, no, no. The genesis of science is is the need to survive in in, in our environment. That's the, that's the genesis of the science. It's not. No, no, it's, I, not I, it's not inspired by some sort of um, magic entity. It's the need to you know advance and survive in our environment. You know that is, is it, it, that is by and large hostile to us. So we need we've needed to find ways to uh, navigate and conquer and survive in environments that would otherwise kill us. So, you know, that's science, not, science, that's science not the definition is, of science, though. Well, 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 it, well, that's definitely one of the definitions. No, no, of science. it's not. It's not. Sci science, science is the, science is the process of finding um, practical. Um, empirical, real-time solutions to real problems, real physical problems. Right? That, that's a bit too and vague. Let's, let, let's define science first, because what I'm trying to get to is that the scientific torch was not held by atheists. It was held by theists for a long time in history. So first we need to define science. So science is the application of reason to the natural world, in which you use observations to come up with theories and you test those theories against observations, you try and falsify it until you have a confirmed uh, set of beliefs. You have a confirmed set of things that you can put together in a broader theory. So this basic idea is not something which was put forward by atheists. This is something which only in the 20th century and the 21st century of atheists woken up and said, actually, we are quite a scientifically literate people. Prior to this, it was the Muslims and then it was the Christians. And atheists came late at the party, but they want to claim it's a, it's they're behind a, a, atheists this. Atheists have been, a, 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 there's been atheists since... Uh, yeah, um, in a, just about 10 minutes. A, a, atheists, a, sure. a, atheists have been you know around since the dawn since the emergence and the, and the progression of man but yes. they haven't produced much yes, though yes we have yes we have we, so we, science we, science we agree was a theistic venture no it's not no no it's so, a human it's a human and those uh, humans venture. happen to be theists well uh, if, if if you're talk, if you're talking about if you're talking about ancient agrarian religions of all types not just i'm not, not the, i'm not, actually i'm not, actually talking about the well, genesis of science, no, which, no, which no, goes no, back to no, theists. No, it doesn't no. go back to atheists. Well, uh, well, 
you, 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 you could probably get away with your definition of science from a philosophical point of view, right, in, in, a, in, a, in a stricter term, but I'm talking about science in, its, in, in, in a, pragma, a pragmatic way, in, in the real sense of the word, in the real sense of the process, which is solving, you know, which is finding ways and finding solutions uh, to solve real problems in the real world. That's how science progresses. It's not. It's not a. It's not some sort of ethereal concept. Science. Science is 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 purely materialistic, right? Right. and it deals with real material problems. Right. right. So, you know, whether it doesn't matter what belief systems you know uh, people in South America had, they, they that created all sorts of had all sorts of scientific scientific innovations that believed in completely different gods or North America you know that again had all sorts of scientific innovations in order to allow them to survive in their environment had their own type of gods you know the type of science that you found in Africa you know uh, that allowed the people to thrive in their environment science is the application of finding solutions and finding mechanisms for us to survive and thrive in, 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 in any given environment. It's not, it's not a, a sort of, you know, a, a, philosoph a philosophical sort of um, a bubble that, you know, p people that subscribe to. And theists, theists um, negate the fact that, um, try, try and bypass the fact that it's humans that find those solutions, don't rely on magic, invisible entities to you know bestow us with um, uh, you know solutions we we find those solutions through trial and error through testing through observation through um, 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 through um, experience and I'm not I'm not following your logic here because I didn't make the argument that you need to believe in God in order to do science I never said that well okay so now you seem to be in your words what do you seem mean? to be in your words. No. Yes. I, you're, I you're, made you're... the argument that the genesis of science and the torchbearers of science throughout history were theists. No. That, that's just no. a fact. No. So, well, you can disagree with it, but your feelings don't affect a, 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 facts. A, a, the facts abso absolutely stay as not. facts. And Islam, being one of the sort of newer religions, had, not, is, is, had very, very little to do with science. That's absolutely very not, that's absolutely not true. Yeah, I mean, I'll you give know, you. I'll give you an example. I'll, you know, I'll give you evidence because you're you're speaking from your experience, but I'm going to give you evidence. Okay. So Hassan ibn Haytham, he was a Muslim theologian and a scientist. He lived about a thousand years ago, and he is the one who helped us modernize the scientific method. So if you go look up the history of science, you will see he is mentioned as somebody who developed not just scientific ideas but the scientific method itself and this goes back way before Galileo, Newton and Bacon and all of these guys so the history of science and the infusion of philosophical concepts to help enhance science was done by Muslims for hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of years and for you to downplay their contribution just simply shows your lack of knowledge of this historical era. It's clear to me that uh, the tradition of the people that now call themselves Muslims and the initiators that, that adopted those Abrahamic beliefs or, the, or those Abrahamic stories um, clearly were you know, massively influenced by the Persians and the Egyptians and uh, the Greeks. I mean, you can you can see it in. Um, That's neither in, here nor there. What does that What does that mean? Yeah, well, but that means that you know they. Because they were theists too. Well, of course they were. But unfortunately, the world and time and humanity doesn't start with Muslims, Christians, Jews, the Greeks, um, Persians, you know, or, or people from the Middle East. You know, science itself, the process of science, transcends all of those cultures, and it is the ongoing, you know, evolution of humanity itself. You know, you can you can argue about following certain traits and traditions. Uh, you know that um, certain um, scientific methods and methodologies were codified, codified, which is true, you know, uh, 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 largely the West was inspired and gained... By the Muslim uh, uh, world. Uh, 
No, not just the Muslim one. I, I, I don't know what you, why you. Do you know the history of the Renaissance? Well, Do you know the which, history? Which one? The which Renaissance one? that happened in the uh, uh, 16th century, the Renaissance in terms of how the Islamic world impacted the Western world. It, it, it did. Absolutely, absolutely. There's no doubt about it. I'm not. I'm not arguing about that. There, there's been a trajectory. Actually, even you before know, that, 16th, and, I said 12th, and, 13th, 14th but you, century. But you, but yeah. you, you, know, you, you can you can you can go to the you can go to the Ming Dynasty. You can go to the you know. Um, to the but again, Chinese. none of these are atheists. What you're describing, none of them. Well, uh, atheists where, where, have contributed where, where, almost nothing until recently. This, sorry, you're, you're you're trying to you're you're trying to define the process. In which we use to survive in our in our environment, which is a scientific, pra pragmatist methodology. But that's not the definition of science. Well, though. well it's okay. You you can. You that's could, just the application you, you, of reason. No, no. You 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 can try and couch it in a in a kind of philosophical um, framework of strict uh, definitions. But I'm looking at this. I'm, you know, I, I, I'm a I, well. Uh, I look at things from a, 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 a Marxist science, you know, scientific perspective. So, what's a Marxist scientific perspective? Well, we, we look at Marx things, was not a scientist. No, but my my philosophical and political views are couched in the um, pragmatism of applying Marxist values. What, what, what would Marx think of you as a black person? Do you know what he Marx was, thought about black people? What did he think about black people? He was a very racist individual. No, he was not. A no, lot he was of not. no, he was. No, he, he was. No, he Have was you looked not. up what he said about black people? What, what, what did he say about black people? Just Google it. I'm not going to repeat it here. No, no, no. No, he, 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 I've, I've got fixed. A things. lot of people back then were racist, including him, and they wrote some no, quite no, nasty okay, things. Okay, so what, what, what specifically did he say? Well, you'll have to Google it. No, no. You'll, you, ha you'll have no, to Google no, it. No, you, you've, yeah. you've put yourself on the line here. Yeah, I have. So what did what did Mark say about black people? Well, he said some pretty nasty things. Well, so I know. Well, you have to Google it. I'm what not did he say? I'm In what context? Where was it? What did he say about black people? He, when, look, when, when look, wait, wait, hang on. For me not to quote to you verbatim what he said is meaningless. Now, you can go and establish yourself what he actually said. Marx, just like Darwin, just like all these other, just like all these other guys, they were marks. quite racist towards black people. Well, uh, so for you, for you to okay. look, you're making a few mistakes here. Okay. You, you, you describe yourself as a someone couched in the tradition of Marxist science, yes. when Marx had absolutely nothing to say about science. But, uh, Marx was actually a, a failed predictor in terms of human sociological events. Okay. And he was not only a failure from that perspective, he was somebody who we can see repeatedly throughout his followers, throughout his followers absolutely, who today, who today absolutely try not. to he call inspired, for... He inspired the most successful nations to, to emerge in the 20th century. Which nations? Uh, Russia and China. <laughs> and, you can't uh, be serious. I'm very serious. I'm you very cannot serious. be serious. China is the number two. Soviet well, Union was successful. Absolutely. They killed. Absolutely. They killed millions of their own people. Oh, oh, listen, listen. Chairman Mao killed millions of listen, his own people. Okay. Okay. So how is that success? So, so, well, 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 he also saved and lifted up m far more people than the, the, than were killed. And we can discuss. How? And we can discuss. And we can discuss how those people were killed and why they were killed. Yeah? In the context of a civil war, in the context of of um, we're not talking about civil war here. No, we are talking about civil war. No, we're not. We're, 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 we're when talking, Stalin we're did the purges and, and Mamau did the purges, we're, that's not civil war. We're, we're talking about one transformation from one system to another. We're talking about resistance. We're talking about civil strife within the context of uh, 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 of. That's uh, not uh, what the Cultural Revolution was. This, that's not what um, the Great Leap Forward was. So, sorry, sorry. You're talking about the Chinese. Now you're talking, bringing in the Chinese. Um, um, well, you mentioned uh, them. As successful. Well, well, I'm, I'm, well, th th I, I am, but let's separate them out. Right? I'm talking about, I'm talking about, I'm, and I'm not denying that millions of people, millions of people were killed, but far more people were liberated and lifted up. And they had a terrible economic up. system. Both, both, both. They were countries. starving nations. No, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. And no. China successful let's, today because of capitalism. Let's look at the record. No, let's look at the record. Let's look at the record. At the beginning of the 20th century, um, Russia was the sick man of uh, the Euro sort of Asianic sphere. It I don't was, disagree with that. It, it was, it, no, it, you know, people were, it was, it was largely majority in the agrarian uh, society. People were wearing bark shoes. 
you know, it was uh, uh, under rule of a, a, a kind of despot monarchy, um, it, uh, you know, like as most of Europe were that eventually dragged everybody into this um, First World War. But, uh, you know, it was, it, it was a, a, a terribly backward, you know, under, under the, completely underdeveloped, you know, agrarian uh, society, right? Uh, where very, very few people, apart from, you know, uh, the uh, sort of, the, you know, the upper echelons and, the, you know, the, uh, uh, the royalty and the, the, their small circle, uh, that were all linked to other European. Yeah, I'm, families, I'm aware of the Russian right? histories from that. Right. Sorry. But I'm, the, the, I'm interested in seeing the, the, how you're going to think communism no, 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 made it better. Uh, well, communism. Well, okay. Marxism well, make it better. Absolutely. But so then you had the uh, revolution in um, 1917, the October yeah. Revolution, yeah. Uh, where the Bolsheviks came to power. Yeah. And. Um, of course, the um, the pseudo um, uh, the pseudo proletariat yep. uh, dragged the working class and and you know helped butcher millions of people in the process yep. Yep. throughout that war on the on the on behalf of colonialist imperialist and royalists yep. uh, against uh, the, you know what the Bolsheviks wanted to do. Yep. But anyway, when the Bolsheviks came to power. Yeah. They brought, they completely um, lifted up and brought all of the, um, what you would call the proletariat, opportunity yeah. through education, through collective cultivation, through um, mass building programs, through um, mass, you know, mass industrialization. Mm -hmm. uh, through mass education mm -hmm. to the point where when the West and most of the so-called developed world were starving and it, it, you know in dire straits in the 1920s and early 30s yep. um, the Soviet Union was thriving up to a point where you know they became up to this day which is why everybody's having you know massive issues um, I wouldn't, and I, you know, we're not, I'm not saying that Russia is now strictly a, a, a communist country or a Soviet country, but the legacy and the structures of, the, of those that the Soviets and the, and and uh, uh, the um, the Soviet Union left behind bore fruit for what we now know as Russia being completely self-contained, being the breadbasket of the world. Half of well, a third of the breadbasket of the world, right? Um, they they educated up to you know 99.9 percent .9 of the population, where illiteracy was a huge problem at the beginning of the 20th century. They they pioneered space travel. They you know lifted themselves up to be the uh, one of the two major superpowers militarily on this planet from being um, completely uh, exposed and you know relentlessly under attack by all sorts of powers at the beginning of the 20th century to you know to being a, a power that essentially held the balance of power up until you know the early 90s when they they had this yeah. horrific um, concession yeah. with you know uh, the wall falling down, but they, they're back to where they should be now. But the, from where they, from where they started in the early late 19th and early 20th century to where they eventually were, even if even if you count the cat cat catastrophe in the early 90s, um, uh, you know the growth and the power of that country of lifting the amount of people they lifted out of of, of poverty. Um, industrializing the scientific innovations, space travel, you know, security of the population, um, you know, 
up until they adopted. Uh, okay, you know, so no, I, I get every, I get everything you've that, said. That, that's Russia. Uh, but, but, talking, but, 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 but let's, let's go on to China. China is uh, even more profound. No, no. Okay, one, one second, one second. Everything you just said there about Russia. Yes. It can be explained. Yes. Without the need to invoke the communists and what they actually did, because Russia has a huge. It would never have done. It, no, never, no, it, no, it would have never have happened. happened. Russia has a never. huge amount of resources, no. and now America at the same time became far more advanced under capitalism. No. Then, absolutely then not. Russia did. Who was? And who, in fact, who, who put, who put the fact, first people in, up in, in space? In, 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 no. Just who put no, the first people no, up in that, space. That doesn't exonerate them from the uh, huge uh, economic who, problems they had. Who, it doesn't exonerate them from the millions of people that starved. And remember, the Soviet Union collapsed, collapsed because it of was, what? Their terrible economic model. No, 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 no. So no, there was only in the no, supermarkets no, vinegar, no, salt. No, 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 no. Speak to people that were uh, so, so living it, under no, Soviet no, Union. No, Why no. was a huge queue uh, for McDonald's once the Soviet Union collapsed? Because capitalism. Because, look, I'm not. I'm not in favour of capitalism. I'm just saying that your view of Marxism. And I was looking, googling some of the racist stuff about Marx, and I want to show you some of that stuff as well. Yes, yes. I, I think you're totally out of date with Marx's no. not only religion, not only views of black people, but also his terrible economic uh, description and sociological description because you're about to go into China. China, before, uh, during the time of Mao Zedong, when it was communist, it was poor. When they applied capitalism, that's when they became no, rich. No. So China today is a capitalistic no, 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 economy. It's not, it's, not a com com it's not a capitalist economy. Of course it is. No, it's not. No, it's not. So let's, let, let me help you define what a capitalist economy is. Capitalists um, run the economy for the primacy of profit. And what is, what is communi what, and what's, what's listen, the Chinese listen, Communist Party listen, doing? Listen, no, no, hold on, hold on. So profit is at the pinnacle, is at the helm of their motivation for running, uh, you know, any, any, any system. So it, as far as the capitalists are concerned, the main, um, the main objective their main priority is for a corporation or a company or a conglomerate. No, I, to, I, I'm fully, make, I'm fully to, aware of these distinctions. No, hold, 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 what hold, I want to know is what makes hold, you think China is a communist I'll state? I'll come to that. You know, you know, economy, so, economically, speaking. Uh, economically speaking. So that is the that is the primary motive. No, I get it. I get what you're of, saying. Of any capitalist country, yeah. right? It's it, it, the it's it's the. Um, Primacy of profit. Primacy of profit above all. I agree. Right? Yeah. Now, if you read Marx, you know that, um, or Engels, you know that the motivation, because, it, you know, communism and Marxism is about the uh, proletariat or the man in the street having primacy, having control over the means of production for the benefit and the greater good of society as a whole. Yeah. Capitalists run um, uh, 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 the economy... Look, I'm fully, eco aware, I'm fully aware of this. No, no, no. But, uh, and do you know China took land and it did collective farming hold, and millions hold, of people died? Hold on, hold on. Do you, do you know about this? Hold, uh, uh, yes, I do. do, you, do yeah. yes, yes, I do. So yes, that's when they applied a capitalistic, sorry, a, no, no, no. a Marxist no, no, model, no, no, and they redistributed no, the land. No, they had collective farming, no, no, and millions of people starved. No, 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 this is well, no, well established. No, no, no. no, no. So Are you, you're just so, denying so, history. No, no, I, I'm not denying history. The, the, there was definitely mistakes made during which the, cost the millions of, of lives. Course, yes, it did. Yes, it did. Not as many lives as the Western or the capitalists. By the way, Chinese was, scholars have spoken was, about huge numbers not just the west well I, I think i think somewhere between 10 to 20 million is a huge number 10 right? to 20 we're talking more like 100 no, million no no with mao's, and you have, and mao's you haven't entire got any, you reign haven't got any evidence for that well actually and actually you got, you, no, what would you, you consider evidence you, 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 would you consider western scholars evidence or what would you consider evidence well, well, chinese well, it, scholars it, it, would it, would, it would depend on it would depend on their background it would depend okay on, would you would you uh, accept a chinese authority a poss historian poss saying poss possibly but so I we're talking about tens of millions at least. Would you agree? Tens of millions we're talking well, about. Well, well, the lower tens of millions, you know, as but that, I said. That, that's not excusable. Uh, it's, well, it's, it's not, but it's nothing compared to the tens, of, the, the, the hundreds of millions, you know, you know, that perished under imperialism, 
and, co- that's, and that, that, that's, colonialism. Wait, wait, hang on, hang on. The figures and, are and, wrong. And, and it's not hundreds of millions. And that's what aboutism. No, no, that's no, what I'm saying. Tens of millions here. It is, is what aboutism because the what aboutism is pointed back at the people that. But it's try, a fallacy. That, that, what aboutism no, no, is a fallacy. No, no, it's not. But it, that try and get, gain the moral high ground by trying to point out that you know millions of people died on a, under a certain system. But for when some, their system, well, when their for system, someone to talk about the moral worse, high ground with tens of millions and dead, and it's is, like a dead horse. But there's no point eating it. And is to this day worse. So I, I always throw the what about ism right in their face, right? But we'll, 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 but you we'll, do realize it's a fallacy. No, it's not a fallacy. It's not a fallacy because you're, you can't justify the deaths Christ, of tens of millions Christ, by Christian, saying other people Christian, did other stuff. Christian Europeans, and in actual fact, and Arabs, as far as far as, far as the sub-Saharan African, right? Arabs, Sub-Saharan Africans, you know. Hundreds of years before the Europeans came on the scene, millions, right? So millions, uh, millions, millions, no. millions, millions. Where were you getting this from? Well, uh, from from my history, from uh, from from the history of the West Africans. From the from have you heard of the Sokoto Empire? From, from, from the, have you heard from, of the, from the history Empire? of the Sahel? Okay, no. Have you heard of the Sokoto Empire? The Sokoto Empire. Osman Don Fodio. The African uh, Caliphate. Have you heard of them? Like you're you're making a dichotomy between the Arabs and uh, these black Africans, but you're missing out the actual history, which is that these people who converted to Islam, they themselves went on to build empires. So, so, hold on, so hold on, Musa hold on, Mansa, hold, Timbuktu, hold, hold on, they went all the way to Latin hold on, America. Hold on. So what what you're trying to do is you're trying on, to make a false on, dichotomy on, no, between no, the Arab. No and the African, so, yeah, no. when what we find no, no, is no, in the no. early history of Islam, the Africans supported the Muslims. No, they, they, yes, they did. They didn't. They did. It was done by conquest. No, it was not. No, it was not. It was done by conquest, no, no, no. It was, colonialism no. and imperialism. No, it wasn't. Yes, it was. What, what we have is yes, we, ha- we have Muslims escaping to Ethiopia, getting refuge and support from the Africans while they were being persecuted in Arabia. So you don't know the history here. Well, well hold, hold on, hold on. Well, I'm talking, I'm talking about the history that goes up from West Africa, from West Africa. It, are you North the, African? Uh, By any chance? I am North African. You're North African. Yeah. The dichotomy he's trying to make is that you get the black Africans versus the no, no, Arabs uh, no, as no. if as if no, no, talking, it is I'm that talk, simple. I'm talking about the people that came over from Asia, right? I'm talking about people that came that, that's because that's what uh, uh, Arabs originally are. Oh, the Asians actually that came over from uh, from the Indian subcontinent. You know, tra- you know, traveled. So, uh, Sudanese uh, are Arabs. Tra- tra- so the tra- Sudanese are tra- tra- not tra- from Asia. They're from Africa. Well, the Egyptians they're not, are Arabs. No, 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 no. They're, they're not Arabs in a strict sense. The, the Arabs that I'm talking about are, are Asians that settled in, in and around. Okay. Uh, look, I think I, I, I think your history is in a twist. Let me not. just ask you a simple question: Where did the Arabs? What What's the main root of where they came from? Uh, Asia. Okay, that's so, so broad. Where in okay. Asia? Where? What 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 What? What we would call North India right now? No. Yes. It's Yemen. Yes. Yemen. Yes. It's Yemen. No, no, no. That's where they settled. No, that's no. Where the, no, that's where they settled. And uh, look, you've so, made a, a, a series of statements which are false. But the main point I'm trying to show is the false dichotomy between the Africans and the Arabs, and as if. Uh, there was just this millions of people being butchered, sorry, but like sorry, I sorry, showed sorry, to you with sorry. the Sokoto Empire, the, 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 the Hausa Arab, people, the, Arabs the Fulani invented, people, invented and, and the people the, the, all across this region who actually Arabs, spread Islam. So Arabs Spain, invented, Spain was was being Arabs conquered invented, by North Africa. Transi- the, the, transi- the transistory um, slave trade, where they have Africans the, conquered parts of Europe. Well, 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 they well, did if, under Islam. Uh, well, you're, you're the talk, Moors if you're helped about conquer. The Moor, you're talking about the Moors had a, they, they had, a brief, conquer, had a brief period. Eight hundred years. Eight hundred yeah, years yeah, in well, Spain. Well, well, it, it wasn't that long. It was more like it was even, five, six hundred. No, I need to go because uh, it's getting late. But, but let's speak again. We'll, we'll have to speak again because What's your name. Issei. What's your name? Issei. Oh, Sabur. Yeah. Sabur. It's only because it's late, but I would, I do want to speak to you. But historically, yes. and the thing about Marx, what he said about racist people. No, 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 no. Uh, please read it and let's speak the, the, next week. People make the same. People make the same uh, accusations about Darwin. Right. He was very and, racist. No, he wasn't very racist. He was extremely he, he racist. He said some racist things. No doubt about it. No, no, no. Okay, no, no, okay. No, no, okay no, wait no, one, no, one second. No, no, one second. No, no, but if I said no, those things no, no, to you, no, no, would you, no, would you no, say no, I'm a racist? No, no, no. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Can we look at the context in which he lived? 
in the context in which he lived, he was actually a progressive. Of course, he that's was. not Every, true. No, he was. That's he, not he true. He actually was. That's not true. And Compl I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why. Compl we have contemporaries of his Com Compl who are alive during while he's alive, and they Com said nothing like what he said. No, no, please, I'm, I'm not. I'm not saying that he was at the vanguard of, uh, uh, of progressive. But he was in the vanguard of racists. No, no, he was not. Absolutely not. He believed that the, they were lower the, from an evolutionary perspective. The, listen, 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 and white people then, were higher. The Europeans then didn't even believe that Africans were human. Yeah. Right. So and he so, gave scientific justification no, for them no, being he, lower. No, no, he did not. No, he did not. He. I mean, he said some things that in today's world would, of course, would be deemed completely outrageous. Using and, uh, his theory. Well. It wasn't because he was affected by society. No, no, no. no he no, gave no. a scientific grounding for racism. No, 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 no he did not. He, 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 his theory was sound. His theory was Do absolutely Do you know that he sound. believed Africans were uh, inferior intellectually, but also he described certain African people with having thumbs which are opposable, so that's why they're good at climbing trees. So, so they, he believed their feet listen, were like their hands. Listen, so he said listen, a lot listen. of quite ridiculous I, 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 things. I, 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 and he also said in the future I'm not, I'm, I'm that saying, the savage I, races I just, will be I wiped just, out. I, no, no, no. I, I just, in the descent I, of man. Well, well uh, okay. I accepted that Darwin said some, what, what would today would be outrageous things. They were racist then and today. Well, back then they weren't. They were. No, they, they were. weren't. They no, were racist. No, no, they were racist. No, no, do you know why? Do you know why? Do you know why? Absolutely not. Do you know why? Do you know why? Islam teaches white, black, oh. yellow. Everyone's equal. Please. I mean, Islam is a, is a, is a disaster. Why? It's, it's, it's Compa the, compared it's, to Marxists? It's, it's, compared it's, to Darwinists? It's, it's Islam. Compared to Darwin it's, and these people? It's, 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 have you read the Quran when you said it's, 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 a, it's a complete so, disaster. What does Islam say about race? Not much, actually. It says a lot. But, but let's speak but, next but, week. Uh, let's we'll, speak we'll, properly. We'll, we'll, we'll dissect it next go week. Go but, I've, I've, I've read the Quran. Okay. I've read